The creative Holy Spirit of God moves, hovers, and flutters over the Lord's table, much as he did over creation. There's a specific moment during the communion service when a commemorative meal becomes alive with God's power and his glory. Hi, I'm Pastor Bellick. God in his infinite wisdom has chosen to have the table to be the focal point for all that is important and significant to man. And God has chosen the table to reveal his will, his purpose, and his divine riches. In the Lord's table revisited, God has given us an opportunity to discover these riches that he has for us. So whether it's the dinner table or the Lord's table, honor them and life occurs. Ignore them, however, and inanimateness or lifelessness ensues. It's the law of the table. God established it. Necessity summons our return. What makes heaven heaven? Is it gold streets, pearly gates, walls of jasper, a crystal sea? No, all of the above do not constitute heaven. What makes heaven heaven is the glorious presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take heaven out of the equation, and there is no heaven. Without Christ in the midst of heaven's gold streets, they would feel like dusty, bumpy roads. But with Jesus in the midst, dusty roads would feel like heaven. Mud huts would feel like palatial places. This the early church knew. In other words, for them, experiencing church was experiencing a taste of heaven on earth because of the real presence of Christ in their midst. Obviously, this is what is lacking in many of today's churches.